Now, as amazing as all the events are today, the next one I think is particularly unusual because you're not going to see any mechanics or any robotics. This is called FES, Functional Electrical Stimulation. And it's a bike race between two riders who are using their legs to power the bikes. But the deal is, these riders are paralyzed. They can't ordinarily move their legs. They are using electrical signals to trigger the muscles in their legs. This is what it's all about. I had a trampoline accident back in 2011. And I became what's known as tetraplegic. So I have issues with moving all four limbs. My legs completely, I cannot move. My arms and hands are have difficulty moving. Technology for disabled people is quite expensive these days. If more technology firms and universities collaborate, they can make the technology more available for disabled people. To prepare for the Cyberthon, I've been doing about an hour a day on the bike every morning. I have the arm cycle as well, and we're not allowed to use that, so I have to do some testing to, to make sure that my legs are up to speed. At minimum, I'd like to be in the, in the top three. Although I think I'm doing very well, I still don't know what's going to happen when I get there. It's not like the Paralympics where you sort of have a, have a base rate already. It's happened before. Everything's a bit in the unknown. So until I get there, who knows what's going to happen. Well, Johnny wanted third or better, and his wish came true. He was second fastest of all the qualifiers, which placed him in the final showdown against Mark Moon and his Team Cleveland. As the heats continued, you can see that timing was everything. If the electrical pulses don't fire at the right time, you can end up pedaling backwards. Another thing that became clear, this is a physically exhausting event. And that's actually a good thing as the creator of the model of bike that Johnny was riding explained. Normally, uh, people with spinal injury, they waste their uh, muscles, a very bad uh, circulation, and now it comes up again. I've got one guy here who has more muscles than I have. Now, there are two different techniques of FES that we've heard of. One, you actually stick the, the electrode on the skin, but some teams are actually implanting the electrodes in the legs. Where do we stand on that? Yeah, we only use uh, adhesive electrodes or with shorts. So we already made shorts with electrodes in, just put them on. But they implanted it, so the American implanted it. That's a little bit better for racing performance, but it's, uh, most of them don't want that because it's very expensive. If it gives trouble and it had in the past, uh, you have to take it out. And that's a, yeah, a big issue still. But this can just be used by any spinal injured almost. And it was against an American with implants that Johnny found himself in the grand final. And after a monumental effort from both pilots, it was Mark Moon who outrode Johnny to win. You look seriously focused there. How did it feel for you? It felt amazing, I guess. Uh, going really fast, thinking I was going to beat him, but uh, just over, overdid it a bit. Went up a bit too high on the stim and uh, had the bit of a reverse effect, so uh, maybe next year. But you still did an absolutely great job. Do you feel exhausted afterwards? Yeah, I'm really tired. I've been, uh, I mean, I've been training a lot of the Berkel bike beforehand. Uh, I've had it a long time and uh, it's been a great piece of kit, but uh, training for here, tech check yesterday, five in the morning, wake up. Been 10 hours, 10 hours yesterday on the bike. Uh, setting everything up and uh, yeah, today, well I'm barely standing.